Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. How does one know which religion is the truth? There's only one guaranteed universal truth, and that's that everything dies. After that, now that's the real question. For an atheist, they live and then they die. So they're living for death. By this I mean that once they're dead, that's it. It's over. Everything that they've done, all their deeds, they're gone. A theist is someone who believes in a creator. They live by the same truth, with one exception. They live, they die, and they're judged for their actions and deeds in this life. So they are living for a better life, an afterlife. I find that people ask this question in an attempt to prove other people's religion wrong, as if there's some sort of points to be won. So if I get enough of these points, is there something I win? Maybe a place to spend them? So which religion is true? This is a question that each individual has to ask themselves. The only way you'll find truth in anything is if you approach the subject objectively. Now say that three times fast. A belief in anything is about you as an individual and how you connect to it. How you connect to it is how you find the truth. The general masses seem to think that Muslims are just like any other member of a religious group. That once you're part of that group, you're guaranteed a one-way ticket to heaven and that in some ways you are better than others. This is not the case. Being a Muslim guarantees me nothing. The belief of a Muslim is La ilaha illallah. There is no God but God. Allah, the unique creator of the heavens and the earth. He sets the rules and we do our best to live by them. Not because it makes my parents happy or my friends or my neighbors. I do it to please Allah. And the more I please Allah, the stronger I become in all aspects of my life. One of the most important things I can do as a Muslim is to treat people fair and justly. Depending on how I do this, pleases or angers Allah. Deal with them justly, Allah is pleased. Act oppressive and hurtful, and Allah is angry. Now in the end, I'll be judged for my actions and I'll enter paradise, but only through Allah's mercy. He decides. He's the final judge. I chose Islam because I saw the truth in it through its common sense approach to life. The beauty of the Quran and the example of a man, peace be upon him, who changed the face of the world, both from the spiritual and the secular points of view. I have yet to see any contradictions in the word of God, which we call Al-Qur'an, or the recitation. Common sense, beauty of the Qur'an, contradictions, oh, I can see it now. Bring on the hate. The only way you will find truth in anything is if you approach the subject objectively. Now that's a tongue twister. <laughs>